This is The Masked Singer. Each week, undercover celebrities show off everything but their famous faces. I have no idea who this is. <laughs> Once again. And the weakest performer is forced to reveal their identity. Last week, Penguin was iced out of the competition. Actress, host, Emmy Award winner, Sherry Shepard! You belong on this show, girlfriend! Tonight, five secret superstars boogie on down. You deliver consistently good performances. With mind-altering clues. What the hell is that? <laughs> and special guest, Anthony Anderson. I'm just gonna take the O off the flamingo and say you flaming because that's how hot you are. Oh. TV's most outrageous fever dream starts in three. Joe Jonas, two. Donald Glover! One. What did I agree to do? <laughs> This is the Mass Singer. Woo! This is the show that keeps the whole world guessing, singing, and using terrible puns. <laughs> we are halfway through the competition, and the talent level of our singers is making it way too hard to call. Big question around here is, who will win this whole thing and earn the right to wear the golden mask, right? I know I want to know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, we have a very special guest on our panel who is a gifted actor, comedian, writer, host, and a personal friend of mine. My brother, y'all make some noise for the one and only Anthony Anderson. Yeah. 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 Now, Anthony, we're thrilled to have you here with us. Now, how in the hell did we get you here? Uh, <laughs> I was trying to be a mass singer on the show, but I'm tone deaf. <laughs> so they asked me to judge. Okay, let's get right to our first secret superstar tonight. It's time to get a better spidey sense of a singer who's the talk of the web, the Black Widow. Last round, I totally threw y'all off with a genre you didn't expect. You gave me the chills. Honestly, you brought the house down? Yes. This costume feels like home. I can be myself, and I don't have to pretend anymore. Then again, I can make myself at home in pretty much any nook or cranny. So here are my tips on how to jazz up any new space, no matter how dirty, dirty, Christina Aguilera. Whether it's a cozy den in Memphis or a bungalow in Bel Air. Okay, she has a home in Memphis, home in Bel Air. Make sure to fill your space with things that spark joy and always find time to entertain your guests. Misdemeanor. Did that say Scrubs? Did that say Scrubs? So Missy, Misdemeanor, or T-Boz from TLC. You still hanging with me? Good, because tonight, this hot homemaker is going to keep you on your toes. And not even a broken arm can stop me. Look at that, Missy Elliott? Oh, 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 no, Missy, Missy, Missy's from Virginia, not Memphis. Yes. No matter how hard I try, you keep pushing me aside and I can't break through. There's no talking to you. It's so sad that you're leaving. It takes time to believe it. And after all the said and done, you're gonna be the lonely one. No. it all hitting the notes ken please tell our black widow about her performance your voice black widow it makes people stand up the more you crouch down you crouch better than all the contestants on either season that's how good your crouch game is girl look at that you're 
she had that mean lean. But you deliver consistently good performances in like different genres, different styles. Amazing job. Love it. Robin. I loved uh, the, the song choice and I loved your performance. I was a little thrown off by the injured backup dancers. Remember last time she broke her arm. She didn't want to affect her performance. So this week, the dancers joined her. So she got everybody from the emergency room, get, brought them with you. I get exactly. it. Exactly. What clues are you picking up on? I'm still sticking with uh, some of the clues from early on. Um, child actor who has an edgier side. And there was something in the package uh, referencing hanging with Mr. Cooper, I, I noticed. So I'm still going with Raven Simone. I think that she's multi-talented. Multi uh, the audience went, oh. Raven oh, Simone. Wait a minute. Yes. Raven's my guest. I agree, right? Yes. I think you guys are all wrong. Now, <laughs> I, I think based on the performance and the clues, sound like she was maybe has a home in Bel Air and in Memphis. And this may be maybe a country star. It, and it, it could be someone like Miranda Lambert. OK. Great voice. I, I don't hate that answer. OK, well, tonight we're asking each of our mass Singers to bring something from their home to show us who they really are. Woo! So it's time Woo! to reveal the revealing item. Yeah, let's see. Thank you, sir. You guys ready for this? Yes, Nick. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. What is it? Whipped cream <laughs> and crackers. Whipped cream and crackers. That's different. What? That's a clue? Oh, my gosh. Are you Cardi B? I spun webs around these tasty treats. You spun webs around these tasty trees. She's I think it's, it's a prop. Maybe an actor. Anthony, you've heard it all. Director's footage, you started young, an actor. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Mass Singer panel. Who's in uh, Charlie's Angel? What's her that started young? What's her name? Drew, Drew Barrymore? Drew, Drew, Drew Barrymore. Barrymore. Oh. oh. Very good guess. Wow. This is both helpful and confusing, yeah. by the way. One thing that isn't confusing was that was an amazing performance yes. from the Black Widow. Yes. A panel about one of these celebrities might be under the Black Widow mask. Who do you think it is? I want to win this so bad that I didn't even quit after my surgery. I said I'm getting on stage and I'm leaving it all out there no matter what. Coming up. chance to choose life or death. And later, the most shocking unmasking yet. Who's up next? My future husband, <laughs> Anthony. We think it's Usher. He's like 6'10". Yeah, it's two of Usher. It's Cisco standing on top of Usher. <laughs> Cisco standing on top of Usher. Oh my God, it's so good. Welcome back to The Mass Singer, where stars come to hide their famous faces and their whereabouts from their family and friends. Our next performer is clearly a singer with range, so let's all look for anything that helps us figure out who or what is Finger Majig. Last performance? I let my guard down and sang from the heart. I'm gonna marry you! But let's be real, I'm used to my voice winning over the ladies. What's up, Nicole? Your voice is saying you're baby Jesus, so thank you. After I put on a good show, I always like to break bread with the homies. And this is how we do it. Yeah, Montel Jordan. Feel free to snoop into my life. It's Snoop! You'd see that my pops taught me how to serenade the ladies, and I haven't stopped since. What is that? What are these shoes? So, Nicola Majik, tonight this song's for you, and I ain't too proud to beg. He is just the sweetest pie. He's meant for you. I think I'm gonna have to date him. You might have already. What if you already did? <laughs> exactly, Robin. <laughs> If 
said don't leave me I said I'm not going anywhere I'm right here wow wow I'm in love with your voice you have so much just effortless swag on stage and you're just a soulful crooner your tone is just so beautiful thank you so yeah. much I gotta say, thingamajig, I loved your confidence this week. Yeah. You're getting really comfortable on stage, and your voice is unbelievable. Robin, were you picking up on any clues from the package, from the performance? Who could this possibly be? I'm trying to look at the, the height comparison. Martel Jordan is definitely becoming my first guest as I'm hearing the tone of his voice when he's singing. Oh, wait! I was gonna say that name right there. This is how we, exactly. Yeah. And he's not dancing too much. You know, he's mostly just kind of, you know, gangster he swag. Can, he can dance, though. He can dance. <laughs> there we go. I See? love it. I he's, love got, it. he's got swag. I love this combo. It's like thingamajig and son. I love it. It's so great. <laughs> um, the clues, of course, doesn't run with the bulls. Really kind of sticks with me, being from Chicago. So it makes me go basketball player with that body of yours. What about, um, the retired NBA, Tony Parker, is that his name? Tony, yeah, he's Tony's... two inches shorter than Nick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tony... <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. I was thinking, based off of the clues with the gummy worms, Dennis Rodman, his nickname was Worm, I believe. Oh. Dennis, Dennis, Dennis said, can't sing, no. We don't know. Could be his hidden talent. And then last week, his clue for us was his darkest moment was rehab, mm -hmm. so I'm thinking Dennis Rodman. Well, you know, there's a club in Vegas called Rehab, and it's dark <laughs> inside there. <laughs> Could be up in there, too. <laughs> I, uh, I think just based on the clues, and this is a stretch, so bear with me. You know, he likes to hang out with his crew. There are five people there, and he's like the tallest member of that crew. I mean, I'm a big New Edition fan, like, growing up. It could be Nick. Wait, it could be, you know, it's not Bobby, Ricky, or Mike, but Ron DeVoe is the tallest guy of Belle Biv DeVoe. That was my favorite group growing up. You are Ronnie DeVoe of Belle Biv DeVoe. Welcome to the Mass Singer, BBD. He's wrong. All right. We ask all our singers to show us something that reflects who they really are. So, men in black, security! All right, here comes the clue. Reveal the revealing item. It's gonna be a can of poison. <laughs> poison. 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 <laughs> you ready? What is this gonna be? American oh. Sign Language Dictionary. Oh. I love it. Wow. Oh. Sign. That's tough. Well, this book taught me to communicate with others. Which is the most important thingamajig. Oh. That's my husband, guys. That's my husband right there. Thank you. Why and how would a book on sign language... <laughs> yeah. 
help us figure out who this man is. This show doesn't make sense at all. I mean, the only thing I could say out of a clue from that is I went to Catholic school and we had learned sign language. So I don't know, we had the same school district maybe? I, I learned different things in Catholic school than you did. <laughs> I don't even need to know who he is. I love him already. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the thingamajig. <laughs> the panel thought one of these celebrities might be thingamajig. Who do you think it is? I'm one of Nicole's biggest fans. You know, I'm just glad that she likes me. So see where it goes. Thingamajig, you already know. My husband. You'd have a baby thing of the jig, Nicole. Uh, I can marry them. I'm ordained. Hey. Okay. I can marry you too. Who is that? We have a call incoming. Hi, Mom. Sorry I missed your call. No, no, I'm fine. Uh, I'm just uh, at the gym. Butterfly to the stage. Hey, I gotta go. Love you. Bye. I hate lying to my mom. Welcome back to everybody's favorite Who Sung It mystery. We don't have a moment to waste, so let's get back to our guessing game. She's a beautiful creature who's taking flight each week, so let's search high and low for any new clues about the butterfly. Rehearsing for my last performance, there was an accident, and I suffered an electric shock that nearly knocked me out. All my insecurities about performing resurfaced. But I couldn't let that setback stand in my way. We are happy that you are alive. Becoming the butterfly has reignited a love I've had since I was seven years old. I found others modeled just like me and was welcomed into the choir's joyful noise. Joyful noise. OK, that's church. That's religious. It made me feel safe even in the hardest times. Car salesman of the year. She sold cars? This bleeding love has given me the highest of highs, but sadly led to the lowest of lows. As the butterfly, I am taking charge and reclaiming what I thought I'd lost, because this is what I was meant to do. Oh. This week, our guest panelist, Mr. Anthony Anderson. I wrote three words down. Soulful, mm. textured, mm. and honest. Ooh. That's what I felt when, when I saw you perform on the stage tonight. Mm. And, and, and that's all I want to say. Yes. Ms. Scherzinger, are you picking up on any clues? OK, so you have such a unique texture Mm. to your tone. I'm definitely getting maybe pop group vibes, someone from like Destiny's Child. I think I know who it is off of that voice. Who? Who? Say it. 
Michelle Williams. Yes. Oh, yeah. Michelle Williams? Yes. I think so, too, based off that voice. What that got to do with London? Well, you know, the clues from last time, the London thing confused me. She felt alone um, and has a body like that. And those thighs that I'm so jealous of. Like, I've seen those thighs, I've heard that voice. I agree, I think it's Michelle Williams. I, I disagree. I'm still sticking with uh, some of the clues from early on. Every week we've seen clues about London, so that's why I've been going with Leona Lewis. Okay, Robin got one. I mean, I'm sure she's won a Brit Award. Mm. Yeah. All right, well, we gonna get one more clue from the butterfly. Bring out the revealing item. Ooh. Do you guys really think that thing helps? I actually I think it makes it worse. You guys ready for the revealing item? Yes! Woo! Oh my gosh! What? It doesn't make any sense. Who is that? You guys ready? What the heck what is the that? What the hell is that? A forensic kit. A forensic oh. kit? Doesn't make any sense. I once had the chance to choose life or death. She once had the chance to choose life or death? Wow. Okay. Um, you guys are gonna hate my guess. And it's, yes. um, look. This is a Nora Jones song. I love Nora Jones. What if, all right, we've never done this on the show. What if it was actually Nora Jones singing a different <laughs> version of a Nora Jones song? Just what if? Just, just, I just want to blow your mind grapes. Nora Jones is your height. She's not 6'5". <laughs> and let me tell you, it could happen. You could have a singer of a song, disguise yourself as a butterfly, and then guest star on CSI or whatever. And then she came here and sang her own song, Drop the Mic. You're welcome. Great job, Dr. King. I'm just clapping because it's over. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Let's give it up for the illustrious butterfly. Love you, Nora. Good job singing your own song. The panel thought one of these celebrities might be the butterfly. Who do you think it is? OK, up next, let's read between the spots for clues about the leopard. What are you doing? Performing under this mask has been so liberating. Like I have nothing to lose. I haven't felt this free since I was a young cub on the road. Pose, Billy, Billy Porter. Jamming with my pack of misfits and discovering who I really was. Performer of slow jazz plays at the White House. He played at the White House. Being in this competition makes me feel like I did in the old days. Are you going to go Are my way, go? Lenny Kravitz? People say that a leopard can't change their spots, but that's just not true. I'm a fresh new edition of the old me. Tonight, I'm reliving my teenage dream by performing like no one is watching, free as can be.
great. Standing ovation from the audience and the panel. I love the way he moves and his presence on stage. Nicole, talk to the leopard. I mean, I just, I love you because you're all in and I just love how you're so theatrical and so in character. I'm dying to know who you are. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ooh, so, wow. Get a tree, you two. Yeah. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Get a tree. <laughs> he's, he's loving on Nick right now. <laughs> Can it be? I'm, oh. I'm uncomfortable right now. Oh. Oh. I, I do, I do, I do. Oh, yeah. Yes! Yes! Hey, Nicole's with the thingamajig. I had to get something. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly is this show about? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> what did I agree to do? <laughs> Dr. Candy, are you picking up on any clues? Okay. All right, I know exactly who this is, and I'll tell you why. Oh, no. And I, I've given goes. this a lot of thought. Okay, they have some clues, guys. New edition, all right? And remember, I possibly think the thingamajig is someone from Belle Biv DeVoe, Ronnie DeVoe. I think they wanted to carpool to the mass Singer. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hear me out. Hear me out, man. Stay yeah, with me. Stay with you, Ken. This is clearly Bobby Brown. Stay with me. Stop laughing. I thought you were fantastic, Bobby. Salute. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Anthony, are you picking up on any clues? This, this person in this costume has embodied this costume, so all I see is this character here right yeah. now. Yeah, that's what threw me. Yeah, that, 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 that's all I see right yeah, now. Yeah, you got to get through the leopard and the dress to get to the Bobby Brown, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just like, that'd be like me and smart. Okay. <laughs> to okay. get to the Bobby Brown. <laughs> I'm, I'm at a loss. Nicole, you're pretty good with these things. What were you picking up on? Um, I saw Pose, and they're so theatrical, and I'm a huge fan of this person. So mm -hmm. I'm still thinking Billy Porter. Me too. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep, me too. Yeah. I'm going to go with Billy Porter. I'll go with the Billy Porter. Leopard, please reveal the revealing item. Saucer of milk. A saucer of milk. <laughs> you guys ready? We're ready. Cameras. Oh. Cameras, photography. Wow. Bobby Brown likes to take pictures. I mean, you know what I mean? It's just like, <laughs> it all makes sense. Well, darlings, you know, my life has been so tiresome, I spend most of it in front of the lens. But I much prefer being behind the lens. Maybe it's the director, Tyler Perry, because he likes to be behind the cameras. Yep. Right? Ooh, that's good. Why does a leopard sound like Eartha Kid from Boomerang? <laughs> yes! Yes! Margestad! Margestad! <laughs> <laughs> well, we know he was amazing in front of the lens here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the leopard. Our panel thought one of these celebrities might be under the leopard mask. Who do you think it is? And the performance was simply exquisite, darling. I loved every minute of it. It made me feel like I was a teenager all over again. Coming up. I'm just going to take the O off the flamingo and say you flame it because that's how hot you are. And a reveal that will leave you speechless. This is hard, man. Show us who you are. Welcome back to The Masked Singer, where the identities are fake, but the competition cannot get more real. And now, let's take a close look at the bird clue droppings about our final singer tonight. It's the Flamingo. After my last performance, I realized that being the Flamingo is one of the greatest opportunities of my life. So I got to lose, lose. I mean, that voice, I mean, it was smiling so big, I think you broke my Botox. Mira. The real truth is, my story's not all fantasy. Mira. Mm, Spanish? See, years ago, I started hating the sound of my own voice. And being on stage became one of my biggest fears. Oh, man. Insecure. But now, as the flamingo, when I hear I've done a good job, I'm relearning how to say thank you. And I'm reminded that I can do it all. I've danced. 
left, sung, and acted my way to the top. Triple threat. So tonight, it's going to just be me and my voice. And I'm finally okay with that. Thank you for helping me see that this bird is anything but basic. That was amazing. Robin, you're still standing. We both yes, are. yes. Uh, sorry, I'm... <laughs> We're in shock. Yeah, no, that was, can that I, was can, outstanding. Can, can I hear it one more time? <laughs> <laughs> I am so blown away. I honestly, I could listen to you sing that over and over again. The way you sing it was so effortless yeah. and beautiful, soulful, meaningful. Best performance by far, I think, of the show Aww. yet. That's how much that I love it. Outstanding. I'm just going to take the O off the flamingo and say you flaming because that's how hot you are. Hey. Oh. Hey, you like that? You like that? I like what you, you like did that? with that. Flaming go. Right. Flaming go. Flaming go. Robin, were you picking up on anything? Yes. Some of the clues that we picked up on earlier were that uh, she came to Hollywood and was discovered by a wizard. That could be Simon Cowell of American Idol. Yeah. The performing, yeah. the moves, the voice, and the big finish, the way, that's, that's Fantasia to me. In my opinion, I think that's Fantasia. Uh, I, I will agree with Robin. It seemed as if she was trying to masquerade her voice because she sings, and her, her voice is very distinctive. It is Fantasia. I think it's a pretty good guess. But from the clues that I got, your first time, lifestyle brand, fashion, beauty advice. This week, the film references that you gave made me believe that you're an actress and a singer. So um, I'm still going to stick with Adrian Bailon. Oh. I like that. All right. Our Flamingo wants you to know a little bit about herself. Uh-oh. So, security, bring out the revealing item. Bring it. Let's see. You guys ready? Flamingo, you ready? Ooh. Oh, oh. What is, is that? Is that an NAACP image award? <laughs> that you hosted? Yes. I was tickled pink when I received this award. Tickle pink well, when she received this Tickle pink. Oh. Oh, she's I know. I know who she pink. is. She's pink. Yeah. She's pink. <laughs> pink. The singer, pink. She's pink. It could be. Yeah. Well, we know uh, that the Flamingo is an NAACP award winner and possibly a mass Singer winner with that performance. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Flamingo! Our panel thought one of these celebrities might be under the Flamingo mask. Who do you think it is? Oh, God, we got a vote. I forgot it's this time. This competition's hard. So many good ones today. I mean, musically, this is my favorite episode maybe ever. Yeah, I me mean, too. Musically. Yeah, I agree. Now the time has come for our live audience and our panel to vote for their favorite performer tonight. Wow, this is hard, man. The singer with the least amount of votes will unmask and head home. The others will sing another day. And the singer with the least votes tonight I'm scared. is... I don't want to know. ...going to be revealed right after this. Oh! I do that all the time. You ain't right. I do it all the time. You ain't right. And the singer with the least votes tonight I'm scared. is. I don't want to know. The Black Widow. Oh. Oh. So sad. Go ahead, say your goodbyes to the Black Widow. That hurt. Black Widow, come on down over here. You are amazing. You know I'm a fan. Now, this is what I have to say. I'm definitely sorry that you're leaving us, but we're excited to see who you really are, right? Yes. yes. But first, gang, we need your final guesses 
Let's start with you, Nicole. Okay. We started out with the squeaky clean image, so somebody from Disney, possibly a child actor. Um, someone who didn't want to have to pretend anymore, which I took to be someone from the LGBTQ community. But the giveaway for me was the dropping it low and the samurai squats. Because like when she be doing her dance offs and stuff on TV, the first thing she does is she gets real low. That's why I think it's Raven Simone. I agree with you, Nicole. From day one, there was a lot of clues. Famous for years, powerful empire. Her show, That's So Raven, was the most successful show at the time. Uh, I actually wrote a song for her. Yeah, right. I did. I wrote a song on one of her albums. So I'm pretty familiar with her voice. I'm going to stick with Raven Simone. If it is the person you say it is, I actually wrote her as my sister into my sitcom Black. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. You ain't. If this is Raven Simone, I used to babysit her. I don't think it's her, though, because we've never talked about her uh, being from Memphis or owning a home in Memphis. Interesting. You know, I'm, I'm going to stick with uh, my, my, my first trick because I text Raven while she was up there singing, and Raven was like, yo, what up? So I know it ain't Raven. Good, yeah, there um, you go. That's why you're the expert. So I'm going to stick with Drew Barrymore. Good. Jenny. The film references that you gave made me believe that you're also an actress and a singer. So I backed up and thought, okay, TV, singer, glee. So I'm going to stick with Amber Riley. Going off the clue package of having a home in Memphis can easily sing any genre. I see no reason to change my guess at Miranda Lambert. Okay, panel, you've made your final guesses. Now let's see if any of you are right. Black Widow. Show us who you are. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Oh, no, she really needs help. Help her out. Help, help her, her out. out. Take it off. Who is it? I have no idea. Why am I even asking you? Because I'm on her mind. <laughs> wow! Actress, singer, television star, Broadway star, television host, so many things. Wow! You had me fooled, for real, for real. What made you do this show as the Black Widow? Uh, I've been in the music industry and the industry for a really long time, and I said, oh my goodness, it would be awesome if I don't have to see anybody, they can't see me, I can be the person I am in the mirror and not have to put on this all the time. <laughs> and you guys called me a professional singer. I peed my pants, so thank you very much. <laughs> right after your first performance, you injured yourself. I, I got to only really do one performance. You know, just don't write a hoverboard at 33. <laughs> <laughs> but you still gave us some great, amazing performance. Oh yeah. Yes, like exactly. <laughs> I text to see if it was you. You could have hit me back and be like, yeah, and vote for me. <laughs> no, but I, 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 I'm so proud of you. Uh, you Thanks, know I'm brother. a fan, and I love you. She's a star. She's a star. One more time.